If we look into history and ask ourselves who is the most productive man in the world, a man who achieved so much in so little time and resources, I think we all can come to the conclusion that it's Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who achieved and was the most productive person. He was productive because of the blessing of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala in his message and the blessing of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala in the little resources he had. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Hamid Faris and I'm the founder of ProductiveMuslim.com, a website that links Islam to productivity. I'm working, currently working with FOSUS on a special UK tour to go around the ISOCs in different regions to deliver a training for the ISOC execs and as well as the ISOC beginners called ISOC 101 Serving Yomini Ummah. This training session is divided into two parts. One part is for ISOC beginners, for so those of you who are in the first year or second year and need to learn more about how to run a successful event and just to, just to introduce yourself to the ISOC world and the different spheres in the ISOC world. And the second uh, session is for the leaders and that's where we concentrate on how to be an effective executive leader of the ISOC and how to lead your ISOC, lead your team towards success. So working with FOSIS, we're going around different cities, different regions. We're going to the north, to, to Leeds, to Leeds. We're going to Scotland, to Glasgow, we're going to London, through, in, in London with LSE. Uh, we're going to Wales in Cardiff. Uh, we're also going to um, to the Midlands uh, in Leicester, as well in Ireland in Dublin, inshallah ta'ala. So this is an exciting opportunity for everyone in, in the, within the ISOC to learn about the simple tips and techniques that make the ISOC productive, make the ISOC and make the executive able to be effective within their teams and within the university they're in. I'm um, sure hopefully all this all works out well and everyone contributes to it. And uh, Jazakum Allah khair.